Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the Lico of Bi Weekly Contest 89 Minimize Maximum of Array. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. And actually, I think uh, I was going to say this was my uh, quickest problem, but actually, Q1 is still slightly quicker by a few seconds. So, this one was pretty straightforward for me. That is not to say that this is um, not to say that this is easy but it is about recognizing what you want to do. And here we use a technique that um, maybe is called binary search on the answer, meaning that um, can there be an answer, you know, with the talk with a target X or something like this, right? And then of course, um, when, you know, this is the binary search portion um, and the answer always have to be from zero to 10 to the nine, because at most, you know, it's going to be 10 to nine for the max element, right? The idea behind the the, the uh, to test whether a number can be right is that um, the greedy solution, right? Um, and I'll I'll, I'll kind, of, kind of go over this operation in a second. This operation looks kind of funky the way that they wrote it, but basically what it means is that you could take one number um, and then move one to the left, right? So that's basically the idea. So you so that means that the observation here is that you can only move things from well, in this case, right to left, but I'm, I'm going to reverse it so that I sometimes I say left to right. I mean the same thing because actually in code, I do reverse this. But because you can only go in one direction, that means that, and you can have an unlimited number of um, operations, that means that when you, when you hit a certain number, or like if you have a number that is bigger than your target, then you have to push it forward, right? There's no place for that number to go. That's the idea behind the greedy. And after reversing it, that's basically what I do. I have a carry, and for then for each x, I add it to the carry because that's the number that previous previous arrays uh, elements be like, oh, we don't want it, so you have to take it. And I'm like, okay, I have no choice, I have to take it. So I add the carry, I set the carry to zero, and then if x is greater than or equal to target, then then we set it to be the carry because we go forward. And of course, we can always keep carrying things forward ex until the last person. And the last person is like, well, I guess I'm holding all the bag. And the question is, if this is good, then um, the last number will you know, be x plus equals to carry. And you, you could write this a couple of ways, I suppose. But the last number will have to be less than the target or equal to, I suppose. Um, yeah, less than or equal to the target because that's the biggest number in the way in that case. Well... If it's greater than target, then it'll be the biggest number if you want to be pedantic, but you get what I mean, hopefully. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's pretty much all I have, though. So, after the re reverse is linear, but otherwise, well, oh, this is linear anyway, right? So, you, this is obviously linear. You go from left to right. Um, so, this is linear time. This is going to be O of log u time. Oops, log u. I log u time where u is the size of the, the universe, as I always say, which is the range maybe, which is 10 to the 9, right? Uh, um, which is, and the log of that is, of course, like 30 or so, right? Um, and because each iteration is going to be O of n from here, this is going to be O of n log u. So, yeah, time... And the space is just O of, well, in, in my case, technically it's O of one space, but I, I kind of did a reverse, so you could say this is O of N maybe, depending on how you want to say it. Um, yeah, um, I'm not going to go over bi the binary search portion in this video. I hope to have my binary search tutorial video coming out to kind of explain this a little bit better. But yeah, but I, I will go over very quickly that this is inclusive bound. So when, and what I mean by inclusive bound, meaning that both left and right are inside possible answer. And so if, they're on, if they decode each other, then there's only one number in the bound, and that's your answer. So I always return left. This is just getting the middle. And then here, we just ask ourselves, okay, if this number that we're testing is good, what, what do we want to do, right? Meaning that, okay, if the middle number is good, um, here, we go, okay, if that's good, then we set an upper bound to the answer, meaning that we'll try something smaller, see if we can have a better answer, right? So that's why I set the right to mid, uh, mid being that it is inclusive because mid is good. Otherwise, I'm like, okay, mid, is, mid cannot be good, so let's try a bigger number to see if we can find one good number. And of course, 10 to 9 will always be good because the max number is 10 to the 9, so, um, so we don't have to worry about, I don't know, something weird. Um, 
cool that's pretty much all i have with this one so let me know what you think and you could watch me solve it live in the contest now i'm confused i forgot my this is really sad I, this is a disaster contest but okay a little bit tilted i had the mod song but then i solved the one problem and i forgot the mod song okay uh because i watched myself okay well this is a disaster but what are we doing no, because of n non-negative integers. Okay, choose an i such that decrease i by one, and then, okay. So, but you basically move from left to right. So, okay, and then minimum numbers, minimum possible to max number, max number integers up to okay. Um, maximum integer five. Okay. The minimum max number. Okay. Hmm. And this third, and then num Any number of operations. Hmm. Let's see. This is just binary search, right? Uh, that was such a silly. The mod one, the mod mistake actually pissed me off a lot more than uh, uh, the other one. Because I feel like, eh. Because I feel like, so I'm talking about the last part. If you're watching in the future, um, I feel like uh, I need to look for mine. I still forgot, it, but I just misread that part altogether, and I still kind of submitted with the wrong example. Um, you shouldn't get a penalty for getting the wrong example, I think. But that's besides the point. If the good is mid, then we should go a little bit lower. If not, then we have to try it a little bit harder. Uh, so we go to the on right to left. Let's just let's just reverse this, should we? So we carry over to the carry zero zero. That's my story. The first one is five, right? I didn't see it. Okay, fine. If this times out, it'll be very sad. Okay. Yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this contest and this problem and this explanation. I'll see you soon. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. Goodbye and take care. Mm -hmm.